Hello everyone and welcome back to Field Sports with Speed. So the game season's back and I have started my season with a couple of small days on the partridge over in Suffolk. My friend Mark sent me a message a couple of months ago asking whether I fancied having a trip over to his neck of the woods and shoot walked up partridge. The day was more for the dog handlers who walk in the line with the guns. They retrieve the fallen game and it's basically practice for the dogs and their handlers getting them ready to go out to the field trials. This type of shooting is something I've never done before so I was really excited to give it a go. Normally with my game shooting it's mainly been driven birds where you select the better ones but this was completely different. The aim of this type of shooting is to shoot the bird as cleanly as possible with no runners and as close to the line as possible. Let's see how we got on. So myself and Jack set off nice and early to get over to Suffolk. It was a four hour drive so we set off at four o'clock in the morning. We literally got out the end of our drive and went over a blind bend and because it was really windy that night it knocked a tree over and we drove straight through it in Jack's new truck so it wasn't the best start to the day but anyway we got over there we got there for eight o'clock and we met the boys in the house at the shoot and had a lovely full English breakfast um, gobbled that down and then we got kitted out and headed out for the first drive. So we picked pegs and I was number six on the first drive. So I walked down a woodland edge and everyone else was out into this uh, rough crop and there was partridge everywhere. I genuinely can't believe how many was there, it was ridiculous. Um, but we carried on walking, there was a few shots down the line and they got a few partridge, carried on walking and um, yeah towards the end I had a little crosser in front because um, what's really strange is you're like shooting out in front real low which normally you'd never ever do but obviously in this sort of environment you are literally clear all in front, you shoot forward and that is what you're doing basically um uh, i think jack missed it so uh, i had to clean it up after him which was always good sorry jack and uh, yeah i had a little right to left which um the dog then picked one of the handlers further down the line and that was a nice retrieve and then just as we were getting right to the end of the crop uh, there was a um, partridge come from way out in front, don't know why, just randomly was coming all the way out in front. It was like all the guns were in amazement, like, oh my god, there's actually a partridge coming driven. And uh, I quickly scrambled and shot it, and in that wind, I mean, I didn't do any voiceover of the day because you can see how windy it was, it was crazy. And this partridge had the wind right up its jacksy, and it was travelling really, really fast, so hit it well with the first barrel um, and because I thought it was injured I shot it again with the second because like I said in the beginning of the video these handlers want the birds dead not running um, they need to send it to a marked spot uh, and so yeah that was the first drive done fantastic, fantastic. nice they were English and on to the second drive so we was then on to some sugar beet which is really hard walking to be fair because obviously you've got to shoot the birds real quick and you need your foot in so you had to keep that in mind like keeping your feet nice and sturdy to get on and have a quick shot but as we got walking around some of the lads had a few shots and as we started going down this field a uh, bird broke behind and i had a go at that and got that which was nice so you basically shoot anything in front anything behind everyone's in a line you really really strictly gotta stay in a line because that's the safety element to it and obviously guns in the air or completely out in front and as we carried on down the field there's a few more birds shot which was nice watching obviously our mates shoot the birds and then the dogs pick them and it's really nice to see how the dogs were getting better and better as the day went on 
and then as we got to the um towards the end of the sugar beet field there was uh, a covey of english partridge get up now english are something i never get the opportunity to have a go at because there's not many rounders but they thrive over there and they put a lot of them down and they got up and i missed it both barrels there was like 10 or 15 something like that a great big covey of them chirping away and i completely missed i was absolutely gutted but saying that this is why we shoot if you got them all then it'd be pretty boring as we got to the end of the field, I uh, shot a couple of nippy little partridge over the head of the hedge or towards the hedge. So that was good. And then it was on to the next drive, which was another sugar beet field. And I did shoot a real nice one there. And it was a real long one for the dog to get. Um, cleanly killed, really nice, um, really nice bird. And the dog did an amazing job of getting that because it was a good sort of 34, whatever. 40 40 yards out in front um so it was yeah, a really good, good retrieve well done, because the dogs well obviously done. they can't see like we can to where it was it come down in the field so i had to go out listen to its handler work the area and it picked it which was really nice to see and then another first for me and jack um jack's been shooting we've been shooting together for a few years now and He's had a lot of firsts with me that um, has been really nice to see. And uh, he got his first hair, which was amazing. So uh, they wanted one for the dogs to pick and he shot a hair, which was really good to watch. on to some 11 z's which mark and the team did a great spread absolutely beautiful little buffet on the back of the tailgate so we got stuck into some food tight ass. Did, did you literally tight ass mm. did you cook all this did you no you're not <laughs> Happy name young man uh james james nice to meet you james Thank you very much. You're so welcome. 30 quid. <laughs> right, you handsome bastard. You can stop filming me. Film him, he's the main one. I have never, ever, ever seen a man wear such tight chinos. I don't know if I'm turned on or not. It's a bit weird. Bit of a lady's ass. <laughs> After filling ourselves up on that lovely food, we was back at it again and watched everyone shoot some lovely partridge. And then another moment, Jack shot another first. So we was walking through this um, crop of beet um, and uh, a little chitter went back. Um, Jack turned around and shot it and it was his first English partridge so that was pretty amazing and watched the dog retrieve it so that was another great experience. Let's have a look then Jacko, lovely jubbly mate, your first English partridge, you happy? Over the moon. <laughs> Good lad. I'm a man of few words. <laughs> man of few words but got a hell of a stare. <laughs> The weather started to turn a little bit wet so we packed up for the day after having a lovely lovely day the dogs were tired and we had had a lovely day so we made our way back to the house again and we had a cup of tea and a slice of cake and we had an award ceremony which wasn't expecting and uh, yeah I was um, very honoured to have the gun of the day uh, which was quite cool um, and then uh, they also had a sorry for any young people watching but dildo of the day or you might have guessed the shit shot of the day um, which was um, a rubber dummy um, which yeah a little bit different but that was the end of our day and we absolutely loved it so 
the second day um, you're going to have to wait until next week and it was a special moment for me on the next day so um, stay tuned and uh, I'll put in a little sneaky preview but thank you for watching everyone I hope you've enjoyed join us, joining us on this day and I will catch you soon if there are other sides of ditch you can see them anywhere that way now there they go hold up a minute hold up a minute